Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. US equities were higher in uneventful Monday trading, ending just off their best levels. Both the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq both up for fourth straight day, extending last week's rally that broke three straight weekly declines. The market was fairly quiet from a headline perspective, however, with focus on tomorrow's August CPI report and expectations for a month-on-month headline decline. Overnight, the Dow Jones gained 0.71%, the S&P 500 rose just over 1%, and the Nasdaq added 1.27%. Some recent developments, including a weakening US dollar and military success by Ukraine, appear to be boosting investor sentiment. Many traders are also optimistic about the August Consumer Price Index report, which is scheduled for release on Tuesday morning. Energy was the top performing sector overnight, but the rally was broad-based. Oil majors, credit card, autos, retail, home builders, tech, hardware, airlines and trucking were amongst the best performers. Semis, steel, social media, biotech, fertiliser, solar amongst the laggards. Reuters is reporting overnight that the Department of Commerce is to announce next month additional restrictions on the sale of semiconductors for AI and chip making tools to China. It's expected the Commerce Department will publish new regulations based on restrictions communicated in letters earlier this year to applied materials, NVIDIA and advanced micro devices to name a few. Sources told Reuters the regulations would likely include additional actions against China and that the agency plans to add additional Chinese supercomputing entities to a trade blacklist. One source said the rules could also impose licence requirements on shipments to China of products that contain the targeted chips. In supply chain news, over the past several years, supply chain disruptions in power grids, semiconductors and the Suez Canal have taught us about the under-radar industries that keep the economy functioning. In the US overnight, another major supply chain interruption could be around the corner. Starting today, the US railroads said they would delay shipments of some materials in advance of a potential strike by more than 90,000 rail employees. A strike would halt all activity along the US 140,000 mile rail network, with the US economy expected to lose $2 billion every single day, the trains aren't moving. On the currency front, the US dollar index was weaker with the biggest declines on commodity crosses, pushing the Australian dollar higher, buying 68.91 US cents. Bitcoin futures continue their rally up 5.2%, back above $22,000. On the commodity front, gold jumped 0.7% and silver rallied 5.8% on Monday, boosted by a weaker dollar, while investors awaited key inflation data for cues on the pace of interest rate hikes by the US Central Bank. Copper added 1.2%. Oil prices rose on Monday as uranium nuclear talks appeared to hit obstacles and an embargo on Russian oil shipments loomed, with tight supply struggling to meet still robust demand. On the futures front, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.6% gain today on the ASX. This is Tim McGowan for Finance News Network. Have a great day.